What up, it's your boy DJPK, and we are back with another installment of Quest 64, Part 3. So if you missed the previous ones, please go back and check them out. Um, we were wandering through a forest last time. We couldn't find the boss. <laughs> and uh, I guess we, we were grinding a lot, getting stronger. I did a little digging. I looked at a map which I completely forgot I could do in the game. But we completely missed the boss somehow. I don't know how we did it. But we're going to go and fight him today. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our scripture reading today. All right, we're still in Matthew. We're in chapter 2. And let's go ahead and take you to church. Boom. Boom. <laughs> yes. All right. <clears throat> we are in chapter two. Let's go ahead and begin. Lord, please uh, guide us with your wisdom and help us to understand your word. Help us to apply it to our lives and to teach others in your holy and precious name. And please let us be transformed by your Holy Spirit and by your holy word. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. Gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is what has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah, for out of you shall come forth a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called the Magi, and determined from them the exact time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and say, Go and search carefully for the child, and when you have found him, report to me, so that I too may come and worship him. After hearing the king, they went their way, and the star, which they had seen in the east, went on before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. After coming into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell to the ground and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they presented to him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned by God in a dream not to return to Herod, the Magi left for their own country by another way. Cut it there. Um, but just for some historical information, um, let's uh, read up a little bit about Herod. <clears throat> so this refers to Herod the Great, the first of several important rulers from the Herodian dynasty, who are named in scripture. This Herod founder of the famous line ruled from 34 to 4 BC. He is thought to have been Idumean, a descendant of the Edomites, offspring of Esau. Herod was ruthless and cunning. He loved opulence and grand building projects, and many of the most magnificent ruins that can be seen in modern Israel date back to the days of Herod the Great. His most famous project was the rebuilding of the temple at Jerusalem. And another point about Herod, because he was not a good guy. <laughs> it might sound great because he was building some nice buildings and he rebuilt the temple, but um, he was he was not a good guy. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, he was the son of the Idumean Arab Antip Antipater, head of the police force who kept order for Rome. He not only took over for his father, but was named King of Judea by Rome in 37 BC. Known for his paranoia and jealousy, he killed his wife, uh, Maria, uh, Mariamune, 
and two of his sons. Sorry, I was trying to remember the Greek pronunciation of this name, because I don't know the English one. <laughs> yes, but in Greek it's Mariamune. Sounds Japanese, actually. <laughs> but yes, he was crazy. Um, so as, as I said, he killed his wife and his two sons. <laughs> That's pretty crazy because um, of paranoia. He thought they were like disloyal to him. <clears throat> and uh, he also sought to kill Jesus. So, yep. Interesting. Um, also, uh, let's point out about the Magi. Uh, let's see. So, the traditional idea that there were three Magi um, is only due to the fact that three gifts were given. So, they don't really specify. There could have been more and maybe they put in together for the gifts, <laughs> but they don't say. Um, and these were not kings, but magi, or magicians, or astrologers, possibly Zoroastrian wise men from Persia, whose knowledge of the Hebrew scriptures could be traced back to the time of Daniel. Uh, in these areas, of course, there was large Hebrew populations, and they would have influenced the local area, and so they would have been aware. Especially at the time of Daniel, when there was such um, wonderful religious zealots like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, um, those types of people, um, they would have been very aware. So that's what they uh, people speculate is how they knew about this prophecy. It's due to people like Daniel. Very interesting. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So, <laughs> transition, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. Herod, and I believe his son were not, were, were terrible people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, the lesser Herod also died a, a less than pleasant death. I can't remember, I'll have to read it up. I could be... Uh, merging two people, but yeah, let's go fight this boss. But yeah, the whole thing about these magi showing up, um, uh, this is a dead end, okay, yep, that's right. What is the, the map button? Is it not accessible on here? I maybe I have to leave the town. Um, But the, th the thing with the wise men showing up, um, they freaked Herod out because Herod was the king of the Jews, right? Even though he wasn't even technically Jewish by blood, he was uh, Edomian. Um, which also kind of explains how he wasn't a good Jew. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, he was the king of the Jews at the time, and so when they came in, while dude's the king, they're like, oh yeah, we're here to, like, um, bestow the king of the Jews, not you, <laughs> with gifts. So he's like, oh, are they gonna try to overthrow me? Is there a coup? And so they wanted to find Jesus and just wipe out that whole situation. But, I mean, it shows, it shows how, um, excellent of a Jew he was, right? Um, <laughs> so, notice, he had no idea about this prophecy, and then all the scholars in the area, he, he calls them to to him, and they're like, he's like, what's all this business about um, this king of the Jews? And they're like, uh, yeah, like, it's a prophecy, like, we all know about it. I mean, they even knew... Uh, and this is why Matthew is so closely tied to Isaiah, for example. Um, you should probably read them side by side. Um, but this is where they're getting this information from. Um, oh, 
yeah, water does better on them. Yeah, let's get some of our uh, MP back. There we go. Um, but, you know, they were very much aware of, like, where he's supposed to come from. Um, like, they knew the city. It's, you know, Bethlehem. And not the other Bethlehem. Apparently there were two. Um, but they specified the correct one. And, uh, I mean, they traveled from a, a, technically another country to to worship the, the prophesied um, king. So, it's, it's pretty embarrassing, I think, for, for someone like a king who's, like, he's a king of his own people. <laughs> he doesn't even know, like, one of their biggest prophecies. Uh, the, the, the biggest prophecy. I mean, the Jews are still anticipating the Mashiach, and Mashiach is Hebrew for Messiah. They're still anticipating the Mashiach's coming. Un unfortunately, they missed him. <laughs> uh, he's already came, and he's going to come again. Uh, but if you're not, if you don't know him, you're in big trouble. So. I should have done a rock attack, shouldn't I have? <clears throat> Anyways. Um, so it just shows how disconnected he really is from his, from his, uh, title. In his face. But yeah, and so he was scared, and so and and the the funny thing is he should have been celebrating, like with the with that prophecy, with even the the leaders in his courts. They all should have been like, this is a great time, but they were all worried about maintaining their status, maintaining their position, instead of celebrating the prophecy. I mean, I know I'm a bit, you know, like, reading into it, like, you know, hindsight, but, like, knowing what I know now, I would have celebrated his coming, his coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, like oh, this is great news, here, let me step down, because the, you know... God of the Universe is, is here to reign, you know? Though, technically, that... Okay, I, I thought I got a new spell, but no. Um, that wasn't his purpose. He wasn't... He didn't come into this Earth to uh, to, to rule and, and be an, an earthly ruler. He's, he's an eternal ruler, and he had a task that he, he, that he needed to accomplish basically paying the penalty for our sins so and you know at that time of course we saw a, a lot of misunderstandings no, where's uh where's the map does it start okay that's why i was wait a second I thought there was a bigger map. Is left. <laughs> okay, so this is this is stupid programming. Um, right trigger cycles to the right. You would think, okay, well, left trigger must cycle to the left. No, left trigger does nothing. And so I'm like, okay, well, surely I don't have to cycle all the way to the right to get back to a page to the left. No, I can use the thumbstick. Guys, that's bad programming. Come on, do better. You literally have an empty L button. All you had to do... Ugh. Why would you do that? I, s mm, I swear that there was a local map that um, I saw online... Of Connor Forest. So, am I am I technically not there in Connor Forest? Is that? I'm pretty sure I'm in Connor Forest. 
but yeah, it just seems seems crazy that. Uh, but I mean, it's it's par for the course. It's par for the course. Um, you had in Jesus's life, um, you know, uh, Palm Sunday. We celebrate Palm Sunday, um, which was the day um, before. Oh, I'm a terrible Christian. I can't remember. It's like near Passover or on Passover. I can't remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't on Passover. But days before it, maybe? I really can't remember. Um, that's right. These guys are susceptible to water, which makes a little sense, but... I'm gonna feed you. Maybe you're just grumpy. And you just need some food. Is that a miss? Hit both of them. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you missed. Okay. There we go. Um, but, yeah, Palm Sunday. Jesus rode in on a, on a donkey. And uh, they lay down palm leaves and everything. People were ready to... Um, a word basically establish Jesus as king they they wanted to just throw him up as king and, and have him as a leader right away okay this is my problem I get mixed I get turned around I think I have to go this way oh I hope I didn't get turned around um and so you have people wanting to establish him as the king immediately which is not his purpose. And, and we see this multiple times. Uh, before um, the disciples got in the boat and crossed the lake or whatever, the people were trying to take Jesus as king or whatever. And uh, Jesus was like, no. No, everyone get in the boat. You guys cross over. I'll meet you on the other side. Um and he dispersed the people. He sent them away. Like, it's not my time. I'm not supposed to be your earthly ruler right now. And, uh... Let's just do a rock attack. Just inflict some damage. Oh, we missed. Okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, again, we, we see it time and time again where people try to establish him as, as king, earthly ruler. And he wasn't interested. That's not what he was called to do. But then, on the opposing side, you also had people, which was, this was par for the course, um, that they were trying to kill him as a, a liar, as a, as a fake, because they wanted to protect their, their position of authority. Um, you've got the religious rulers of Jesus today that hated him because he, he made them look foolish. He made them look like they didn't know what they were talking about, and they didn't. <laughs> they had no idea. And so he was, he was rebuking them and, and teaching them. Oh, Aunt Jemima's ghost. I think I have to go this way. But didn't I just come this way? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh my gosh. This area has too many high encounter. Let's get the rolling rock. Boom. Got that old Billy Go Gruff. Boom. Yeah, Jesus had his own agenda. He had the, the will of God to obey. So. This is terrible. I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna flip out if I don't find this area that I'm trying to get to. Especially because the encounter rate is too high. 
Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is where I need to be. Alright. Get away from me. Okay, let's heal. So we can be all ready. Yeah, one one off's not gonna hurt me. Ooh, here we go. Piece of candy. There we go. Yeah, see this is the the thing that kills me. Is I was already like really close to this. I was like, there's a house right next to here where I got the, uh, the giant's shoes. Right. Why are you not letting me scroll through my inventory? Okay, I guess this controller is jank, I guess. Yeah. Spank him. Silvering. What's this? What business do you have in the castle of Silvering, King of Beasts? Did that fool in Dondoran order you to come after me? Idiocy! I stole the Earth Orb and it is all mine. With it, I'll become the ruler of Kenishire. I'll show you humans what real power is. You look like a human. Okay, I'm just gonna say. So. Okay, that didn't do much damage. Whoa! Didn't miss that very well. Boom. Okay, he's susceptible to water. Oh, run! Okay. Uh, where's my spirit armor? Okay, let's. It's up by me. Whoa, he's Kamehameha-ing me. He's actually um, pretty strong. Um, and items use up a turn. <sighs> Do I not have any normal bread? Here we go. Yeah, you missed, sucka. Alright. What is that? Soul Searcher? I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna worry about it. I wonder how much health he has. And I, I wish... I wish he wasn't allowed to, to attack with an ability that cannot be dodged. Like the massive AoE that he keeps on dropping on me. Oh, yeah, and I keep on missing? Get out of here with that bologna sausage. Coming for you. Give me this loaf of bread. Honey bread. Mmm. Honey nut Cheerios. Okay. Ugh, you He's tough, isn't he? Run! Fly, you fool! He's gonna kill me. My healing doesn't give me enough... Okay, at this point, I'm just going to be able to barely keep myself alive. I can't even keep myself alive. Bogus. And I died. Oh. Cue heartbreaking music. What am I supposed to do to him? He's a tank. Oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh. 
No wonder I, I, you can't avoid his attacks because I was right up on top of him like a moron. I forgot that if I go to the a corner of my... Oh my gosh. If you go, like, I guess I could have tried running away from him. Which then would have extended my, my dodge circle further away. Instead of just sitting in there and letting him kill me. That was stupid. I guess I just need to... Is there any, like, bread or something I can get? Probably not. I don't need... I'm wasting my time, probably. Uh... Should I have... That sucks. How much health does he have? That's ridiculous. I, I gotta see how much health he has. I'm gonna have to restock up on some supplies. I don't... I don't know where I can get him here. Maybe at the pub, I guess. We've got plenty of MP. Who is this leprechaun? Steve. Steve, you're in here! Wow! I've just arrived here in Dondoran from across Loch Kildare, but there is a robber in the woods and there's no way to get back. Well, thank you, Steve, for that interesting tidbit of information that I already heard. The least you could have done is give me some bread, Steve. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, let's see. The pub's right around here. No, that's King. Nope. He should be funding my mission. Okay, here. I think I can get the stuff here. Let's see. Silver ring. Pretty sure she just gives me one though which is not useful which I can find I, I find that a bit um yeah I I've already got plenty of morning dew Ugh. see that's kind of crippling if you can't like buy enough healing items especially if I'm grinding enemies by other game standards I should have plenty of gold to buy extra health op uh, items but not this game. This game's like, yeah, we want to screw you over. You get one free food item that counts as a turn. <laughs> See, that's the worst part of, like, okay, if you're only going to give me one, like, one option to always carry bread. M meaning, like, I can find extra items around, but if those get used, I can't get them again. So, to that I say, if you're going to make this bread very rare and hard to use, you need to, like, allow it to not take a turn. Especially if... I don't know. I've got to boost my, my healing. My healing sucks. I wonder if I can just... I'm going to cheese it. I'm going to cheese it. I'm just going to heal needlessly. This is the way leveling works then it should level up my heal spell it's still level one though anyways I love how I can heal and escape at the same time. <laughs> Sucker. He's got 200 hit points. Wow. I guess I'm just going to have to spam. Um, 
spam rock type moves. There's no one plays these games. There's just like <laughs> I was just on the quest uh wiki, okay? And like they're like um these are the two attacks that he does. And uh yeah. <laughs> so I appreciate that that you've fought him and you've recorded the number of attacks that he does. Um but they literally like this is under the strategy section under the strategy section They're like yeah they can be dodged <laughs> like this is the type of attack it is and it can be dodged and it's like gee um thanks i i w could you possibly tell me um if he has a weakness if he doesn't that's fine but i mean still like it you're If you're gonna add anything to it, at least, like, add what's necessary. <laughs> like, I need to know his abilities and his weaknesses. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's like having a, a Mario wiki, and you're like, um, like, Bowser, he has... Um, he jumps, he throws hammers, and he breathes fire. But not telling you how to kill him. <laughs> you know, I'm up for the challenge. I'm taking these guys out. I love how I was in a, 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 a large group of them, and it was just like, now you hit one of them. I'm gonna flip out. You better hit two right now. That's right. We gotta get away from my booty. They just, their weakness is water, but they can cast water? How many times do you have to cast healing to level it up? My goodness. No. No. I like the way they just saunter on up. <laughs> There's like... I'm coming for you. Bye. <laughs> 
That's all right, sucker MC. Okay, we're already here. Of course, my MP's not maxed out. Ton, ton, ton. Okay, <clears throat> let's give this one a different, another shot. That's right, I used my special... You fart for Nugans. Alright, let's get them. I repeat myself! <laughs> okay, let's keep our distance from this... This clown. Um, no, we'll do spirit armor first. I wonder how long that lasts. Okay. Missed, okay. Nice. That's what, that's what you want. He's got 200. What is that, about 40 damage? Oh, you cheap butt nutter. Hit him, please. I'm sad that I have to, like, rely on such weak attacks when I have the, the water, man. I give him a big boy sandwich. I don't even know what that means. I wonder if I can get caught up on this stupid, like, pot and stuff. I'm a little concerned, but... can juke between them. I hope if I can I'm in big trouble. <laughs> big, big trouble. Please don't be... Okay, I can go between them, but that sucked. You're ruining your dinner, stupid! <laughs> oh, stupid. He's stupid. Okay, here we go. Now we're going back on the offensive. Oh! Yeah, 
take that. There's a rock for your corn hole. Granted, I could be using the, uh, the rolling rock, perhaps. Let's, let's try that, okay? I know I have to be a little close to him to use it, though, which I, I'm not very happy about. And it completely missed and wastes my MP. Okay, alright. Oh, that missed. That's cute. Try to instead of getting caught behind that pot again, let's uh, try to smack him and run to the left. Missed, yay, yay. Okay, and I got hit. Surely he's got to be close to death. Why do I keep on missing? Come on. I'm literally getting down to the line where I'm gonna have to start going up and striking him just to refill my MP. This could, I could get another game over just because of the lack of MP I'm getting. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get crazy here. Oh, of course! Ugh. That could have cost me everything. Again? No! That's not fair. That is bull jive, dude. That is unfair. That's so unfair. That's so unfair. <laughs> Both of those excellent attacks screwed me over. That's, that's bogus. Bogus. Run, Jimmy! Oh gosh, I'm gonna get killed. Run, Billy! Get away from me! Oh. Of course it missed. You've got to be freaking kidding me. You know, I, I, I'm going to die, probably, so I might as well... Yeah, I just, I'm pretty sure I was not there at the 200 yet.
The healing sucks. Let's see. So we have a bubble stuff on that that should be. I know this is so exciting. <laughs> With this page, it's like cutting it off. Okay, so apparently they nerfed what I was doing. <laughs> so um, they said, no, you can only gain experience through healing. <sighs> through healing when you've received damage. <laughs> so all that was pointless. What I should have been doing, I guess, is... Um, Casting water, I think it factors into the same. Like, I think the. Oh my gosh, I use so many items. This sucks. Yep, down to one item and one item. How am I gonna beat this guy? I was trying to play it safe and nickel and diming him, but it was just, it takes so long with just eight damage. Thank you. 
What does Soul Searcher do, I wonder? Oh, is it giving me the, s the stats? So apparently I should have been maxing out water instead of earth. <laughs> uh... I'm just gonna start letting him hit me, I'm not gonna run. Do your job and hit the target, you butthead. Beat him with a stick. I wish there was an easier way to uh, dodge his attacks. Like, yeah, you can dodge those... <laughs> um, his Kamehameha beams, but, you know, like, what What do you do when you run out of P MP? I don't, I don't know what to do. Because, like, if you get close to him, you're screwed. He will hit you with that giant... The, the AoE attack. So you have to attack him from afar, but, like... You're nickel and diming him with uh, the rock attack. I'm only getting like eight damage max usually. trying to do the math in my head. I'm too tired. So I have to hit him like about 25 times. I'm not going to have the MP to do that. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do?
Of course I missed. The charting on this game is rough, man. What's up with the terrible accuracy, man? I wonder if there's an enemy that drops bread, because that's what helps me the most. I wanted to attack him naturally. Come on. Sorry, I'm trying to research what enemies drop bread, maybe. Of course you missed. Yeah, of course. Super cool. Ah, speed that one up. I'm a little concerned that this game is going to take massive amounts of grinding.
well, I'm gonna have to do this research later because uh, it's not <laughs> it's not coming up. I'm not finding anything on here. I'm guessing that the drop rate for items on this game are probably pretty dismal to as well. So, did I just go the wrong way? I need an energy drink to play this game. Dang. Do your job! The staff icon was visible over his head. I tapped A, and it said, Okay, you don't want to attack? Okay, okay. Alright. Stupid game. I think I'm going the wrong way. It'd be nice if there was a map in this game. Yep. Went the wrong way. Oh. Okay, I need to go south. I guess I got that's that's my fault. I wasn't using the compass rose. Okay, I didn't know I was uh, on a pirate ship. <laughs> that's a stupid excuse. <laughs> uh, pirate ship. Uh. Man, I messed up. I should have just been letting him knock on my head. Because they can take a couple of clubbins, which uh, allows me to heal a lot. I think this game is kind of funny. Um, my HP's up. Am I gaining HP as I get damaged? I think I am. I think that's how they... Oh, did I do the wrong thing? I think I did, but I missed, so that's great. I was just about to say that um, I think it's funny that the MP refilled through walking. <laughs> But, uh, I, I also think it's incredibly funny that, uh, that you can, your health increases as you get stomped on. <laughs> Literally. My brain!
So now it twists back around north. But I need to keep going south. So that's the key. Soul Searcher. I I better get you know, for misses. There should still be experience given. <laughs> That's right. I just heal myself, son. Oh my eye. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Um, my buttocks. I'm. I still think it's comical. Their name is Mary and Nasty. I'm quite certain that the Japanese name name is much different. Now, I'm not saying that it's any better, but... Oh, see, yeah, I'm already up to 72. My face. I'm coming for you. Laser. It's the bat. You got me. Oh no. Did he just heal himself? Heal yourself, stupid.
One thing, it's not a big deal, but I really do wish that they would have allowed me to use the D-pad on this game instead of mi forcing me to use the C-stick. Because the D-pad, they don't even use it at all. So I don't understand why, like... You couldn't have just made both the directional things work. Especially because if your stick breaks, you would still be able to play this. But, you know, Nintendo gets big on their gimmicks, and so then they they ruin functionality for everyone. I mean, just thinking about, like, if you're poor and stuff like that, and you can't afford another controller, or when these controllers get incredibly rare... Um, you just can't play the game. The stick breaks. So, it would have been nice if they would have been forethinking enough to allow you to control this with either the stick or the D-pad. Oh! Is this my experience? We'll find out. 73. Yeah, yeah, I know about this little bat thing. Let's read its brain. Only when it's attacking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kick me in the face so I can heal. Oh, look at that, I'm up to 74. So, at least this game, um, if you continue to die over and over again, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, don't reset because your stats stay, stay increased. Um, at least they've pretty much built into the system. It's like, hey, um, you suck. Well, if you keep on trying again and again, uh, you will inevitably be able to win. We just will continuously raise your health. Sorry, there's a bit of a, a delay in the in my beat and the the audio from the game. That's why they didn't sync up so well. <laughs> Nice miss. I'm happy when it when they take a lot of damage. So it just means that I can heal more. Okay. Let's check. Yes, I believe that is the case. 93. Now let's check something real quick, okay? 93. Eh. Still at 93%, why? 
Does it only work in battle or something? Okay, we'll, we'll find out. We're gonna do a little test. That's interesting. You don't succeed. Pick yourself up and try again. Dust yourself up and try again. Isn't that like Destiny's Child or something? Miss. Yeah. Yeah. Muscle memory, that one. I hope that would, re yes, result in a level. Okay, I'm gonna say, you freaking butthead, down to thirteen percent. Hmm, is that just the the experience from fighting monsters? I'm so confused. Oh, hold on, the yellow bar is twelve out of fifty. Is that meaning it's fifty is maxed and it's full, or are those the experience? Okay, let's see. Okay, well, these meters are, like, really ambiguous. Okay, that goes up by, based on health. Defense is really low. I wonder why. Well, let's try again. I'm gonna try to keep track of his health mentally. I'm probably gonna die again, though. I repeat myself. Of course, miss. It's Forty two, is that forty two? Sixty three, eighty three, miss. Okay, yeah, of course, yeah. Five. One 
149, is that what that was? <laughs> I'm tragically bad at math, apparently. On. I think he's almost dead, isn't he? Yes! yes! Oh, holy schniggies. Wow. That was awesome. I am so happy right now. Oh, uh, I was so worried that I wasn't going to make it. Oh, how did I do that? Purely raised HP. I was playing defensively. By increasing my defense <laughs> I think maybe even maybe my defense was increased while I was taking all those hits and healing myself yeah. and my MP was stronger so oh my gosh I'm so happy right now we did it we did it we beat him okay. Look at all this smelly stuff this supposed to be soup looks like crap Bro, you eating crap. Got some honey bread, sugar muffin lump. This is just a held item then. That seems like the exit. We're not going there because there's an item. Keeping this firewood. This is a nice little cave, though. I mean, I like it. I'd live here. Mentally leaves, okay. No, uh. No stat increase? No? That would be nice. This is a uh, way I came in, huh? Now some of you might be wondering, is he really gonna walk all the way back? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to. Um, his encounter rate's gonna be annoying, but... I don't want to go back to Melrose, though. Because I think it's a it's still an obnoxious distance. Why would you want to go back to Melrode? Like, why would you not have it go back to the nearest city? Like, so I could go to Dondoran instead. Because that's, I think that's where I need to go to talk to the king. Alright. I'm just gonna smoke everyone now. That's right, you little punk. Come get up. My face. My beautiful face. It's 
So I think what I'm going to do is just I'm going to really focus on water for a while because it clearly it is the best because um, it focuses directly on your magic. Yarg. Okay. Ah, muscle memory again. Dude, let's try to hit him up with that rolling rock. Come on, let's get with that. Oh yeah, I can get a two for on that one. Can't see. <laughs> hit the other one. Come on, let me hit both of them, you butt nut. Yes, two for. Come on! Can I climb up this? Yes, I can. Shortcut. Yarg. No thanks. I want out of here. I don't want to spend inordinate amount of time in this forest anymore. I have spent enough. I say, good day, sir. Good day, sir. I got a three for. I got all three with the one rolling rock, yes. You freaking buttheads. I better heal myself, I might die. Wow, I'm up to 86 health. When did that happen? Ugh, you guys are lame. Can I hit him with the rolling rock? <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Let's see if I can get him again. Oh, missed. Oh, the accuracy of the N64 controller. Popped him. What I'm talking about. You don't know me. You don't know me. Come down. My house. And my crib. You're getting rolling rocked, son. You're getting water splashed. Uh, I, dude, I want to make an RPG and just give everything the dumbest names. Water Splash. And then, like, have it, like, you know, come out in Japan, and they're all, they're all like, oh, oh, it's so cool, like, it's such a cool English name. It's Water Splash. I mean, because they do that kind of stuff anyways. But they think it's cool to use English, and so they'll, like, They'll do, like, they'll make some English phrase, and you're like, this actually doesn't sound cool in English. <laughs> okay.
Do I have what? I think I've got Water Pillar level three. Oh, sick. I think I just saw it. I just... Blah, 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 blah. I think I just saw it. Come on. Attack me. Yes, I did. Boom! That's sick. I wish I got healing too. Maybe I get healing too at level 14 of water. I think I saw or understood online. I don't know. Ooh! I can't believe I killed him with like no items. <laughs> How that happened. The first time I fought him, I had to use like 87 items. Save before I accidentally kick the N64 and it deletes everything. Hey, sugar, give me some of that honey. Sorry, not honey, morning dew. Sugar, honey. Uh, here we go. Let's go talk to the king after this. Hey, where were you when I needed your help? You get no love. Are you sure? Are you really sure you'd like to save? Are you super sure? Oh, I don't know. You need some time to think about it. <laughs> then they, like, the game, in-game freezes for five minutes and then will prompt you are you really sure? And then you can say yes. And then I'll let you save. You have succeeded where my bravest knights have failed. It's just as the Grand Abbot foretold. I hereby bequeath you the Earth Orb. I wasn't giving it back. Okay? I want it. It will help you in the search for your father in the Elatel book. Listen carefully, a hidden door behind the throne is open. You may take from it any treasures you need. Your courage must be rewarded. Yes, yes it must. Open the stupid magic door. What? Oh, ooh, okay. I think... Oh, it still hasn't given me healing. Oh. You're killing me, Smalls. Yeah, what's this? Like a cheeseburger or something? He found some toast. I got a, I got a potion. I got a replica. Whatever that does. Okay. Just open. Just open the freaking chest. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, Alright, so... I was incorrect. I missed something. There are three quest games, okay? Um, two are promising. This one, and there's a Game Boy... Give it, give it, give it. A Game Boy Color one. And... Uh, it looks like a retro Game Boy Final Fantasy or um, Secret of Mana. Maybe more so the Secret of Mana because of how the fighting works. Um, you know, the old Final Fantasy was turn-based, but Secret of Mana was more of an action-adventure RPG. This one looks the same. I'll have to play it. It actually looks fun. I like the old Final Fantasies for the Game Boy and the old... Uh, Secret of Mana. I thought it was fun. It's very nostalgic. I'm into those types of games. This looks right up the alley. It's kind of funny that you have this 3D version and then you have the super retro one that looks like it should have came out like at the beginning of the Game Boy, which was there was no N64 at that time. So 
Um, but it looks fun. Then there's the second game, which is more of a puzzle type game that looks like garbage. It looks like hot garbage. <laughs> it's, it doesn't even look familiar to the, the rest of the series. I don't know what they were thinking, but I, I'll try it. It might be fun. I do like old kind of like monotonous puzzle games, um, like Dig Dug or something like that. But there is a limit. <laughs> I just... I can't play them for too long, but they are fun. But I'll, I'll try it, but... Yes, I'm actually excited about the Game Boy version, though. I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, thank you for repeating yourself. Yeah, okay. Um, do you losers know where I need to go next? See, okay, this is cool, though. I mean, look. How many RPGs have you played where everyone just say, says this, the same thing? His dialogue changed once I got the orb. Even this guy's dialogue changed once I got the orb. So that's pretty cool. That's They didn't have to do that. Though I question where the crap I'm supposed to go next. Okay, his dialogue didn't change. It would have been cool if you just changed it to, like... Congratulations on your victory or something. Or you... You intrigue me. Yep, yeah, see. So they didn't bother to expand it any further, but I mean, that's not terrible. Okay, I don't know what to do now, then. They were doing a good job of directing, directing me before, but now I don't know... Wait, we, okay, we've already gone to Dondoran. Oh! That's right! There's the gate in Connor Fort... In Connor Forest that led to a different way that I couldn't open. So I can only assume that I can open it now. Uh, we're doing it. Right. Um, I hope there's a, a save point near there, though, because I'm going to be ir irritated if I go through all this and it's like, five hours later, you get another save point. Because I'm not trying to invest another five hours right now. <laughs> By the way, um, I was reading online and people were estimating this game to be about 12 hours. That's short. Especially for an RPG. I'm not complaining though, because uh, I don't like RPGs that are needlessly grindy. Um, just And that's, that's typically what happens um, with RPGs that are like... They'll just, they literally just stretch the playtime out by making you spend inordinate amount of times grinding experience. Which, I'm not saying that this has not done. Yes! This adds a cool aspect with the 3D environment that you can set up an attack that will hit multiple enemies but you really need to be in line to do it so i think that's cool um it makes me think of earthbound do you know like i mean of course other final fantasy games as well but where you can target multiple enemies with a magic ability or psychic ability um fire for example is a line attack that damages an entire row in Final Fantasy, you could target multiple targets. So, with this type of dynamic of, like, you know, um, an active kind of battlefield, even though it's turn-based, it still is, it's much more active than normal. Um, you can kind of move to dodge stuff and 
already there? Yes, I am. This open. Opens, okay. There we go. That was actually much faster. I'm very happy about that. I, I was trying to position myself to read the sign. What does that say? Oh, that's right, I forgot the L button zooms in and out. Um, Fortress Glencoe Forest. And all the way at the bottom looks like that's the town. Do I need to go down there to save? Seems awfully far away. Surely Glencoe Forest is not the next destination, is it? Uh, but this, uh, item juice right here is... No, so not, okay. Uh... Of course. <laughs> Oh, they're ice. Okay. Am I frozen? You've got to be kidding me. I'm frozen. But I'm frozen the opposite direction. Does that mean I'm going to cast the wrong way? Oh, that's so unfair. Oh, I should have done Pillar 3. Okay, let's give him the triple. Boom. You guys are annoying. I hate you. I beat him with the stick just because they made me angry. That's kind of disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. They went all out. How do I get up there? Ugh. They went all out for the AI. And then they're like, you know what? We're gonna reuse the enemies. Oh, I, I have to circle all the way around, so I need to head left and then circle the way around to get that. That's stupid. Is that a Mary a nastier? <laughs> no. Satisfying. I'm glad that uh, those spells miss. It's a mad doll. Okay, though, granted, it does look like they changed the sprites quite a bit, though, so... Yeah. 
Running in circles. That song went triple platinum, y'all. What is this? I don't trust you. these guys names are they look new no it's a gobble a goblin <laughs> gobble it's a gobble yeah, pop them in his mouth with your, with your magic wand Healing one, get out of here. No, seriously, so leave. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'm coming over here to get this stupid thing. Where's the energy juice at? I saw it up here. Oh, is it it? What? What? Is it a, a different route? How do I get over there? Okay. Okay, I can't get down here. I was gonna say, I was like, what the heck? Yeah, open it in there. Oh, there's a fallen log, okay. Is this a... Uh... What is in this place? Is there like a save point or is there like a city in there? I don't know. I feel like it's probably another boss or something. One moment, please hold. Okay. So we're not going there. I checked where the next save point is. Oh! What is this? Oh, fail. Thank you. Thank you. Apophis. Let's see what he thinks of my water attack. It's strange. I, I feel like a lot of the enemies in this game favor wind attacks. Oh, dude. I got new abilities. I got Ice Wall and Ice Knife. Let's try Ice Wall. I punched him in his mouth. Spirit light obtained. Is that an item? Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, they drop a really good item. I'll have to grind them. Maybe. I love how my health is already at 88. It's beautiful. Uh, is that the dock down there? Oh yeah, maybe I can see the water in the distance. Let's 
it's as straight as a dead end. There's some item juice right there, though. Item juice. I don't know. Why am I making these stupid names? It's, uh, Spirit, right? Here we go. Um, let's try the ice wall. Okay, is that just an AoE? Like a circular AoE around me? Let's see. That seems so. That's beautiful. So if I'm in the middle of enemies... Let's try Ice Knife. Oh, I've got their ability. And it freezes the enemy! Yes! Okay, well that's good. I'll just use Ice Wall again. Hmm. <laughs> I'm already unfrozen. You guys are in big trouble. Wow. Ugh, not what I wanted to do. Oh, they stay frozen for ages. Oh, yes! Look at that massive wipe. Yes. Womp. Let's see if I can get one. Nope, okay. That sucks. I'd say leveling water has been the, the biggest payoff. Oh no. Oh, I can't even attack or do physical spells. Oh, he's got rock? Oh, not again. It's so annoying. As soon as I get thawed out, I'm gonna bust your heads. Thank you. 
That's right, here comes the pain, son. Let me get to this cottage so I can save before I go all the way back to where I last was and lost everything. That'd be so irritating. Good, you got the river running out into the ocean, that's cool. Uh, hold on. Map. Map. Yeah, I still have... Oh, I still got a ways to go. Oh! Wow. Um, that frog king, or frog prince, whatever you want to call it, looks actually pretty difficult. Um... I'll let you come to me. Can you walk slower, please? Okay, you've received the most damage, so hopefully. Yep, okay. Excuse me, sir. I just killed your boss. Do you honestly think you're going to surpass him? Nope. Not today. Actually, let me check that map again. Yeah. Look at that. I'm getting 11 now. Okay. I'll take you. One on one. Let's find your weakness. Oh. Ah, missing doesn't give me MP. Of course, missed. Get away from me! The encounter rates in this are insane. Sorry guys, I gotta milk this. Again? <laughs> what the heck? The water capital Lara Pool is located on the other side of the lake. There is no fairer city in the Isles. It's even as pretty as a castle town, Limelin. Limelin, or whatever you want to say. Oh, she's back. I guess they decided to repeat her character, I think. 
but uh, it's a different name, I think. Teruma. Welcome to the Hotel by the Lake. Will you be staying here? Yes, of course. Alright, guys. This is it for today. I'd like to play more, but I got some responsibilities. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, playthrough so far. We made some great progress. Transition. Ugh. We beat a boss, we got to the next inn, um, we've leveled up a lot, so that's good. Um, we learned more about the leveling system, for example, and uh, we've got a lot of cool new spells, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not sure where I need to go next, if I have to go to the forest, or have to go on the ferry, not sure. Um, I think maybe I do, I can go through the forest, but I don't know if it's, can, I don't know if it's the next quest necessarily though. So, well, I'll do a little digging and get back to you. If you like what I do, give me a like, share, subscribe. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comment section below. Remember, I've got a new library for N64 games, so if you have any recommendations, let me know. Um, if you have any challenges, that's fun. Uh, but as always, love, peace, Afro-Grease, and I'm out.